Oh, hi there. Welcome to my edit bay. Let's take a journey into the mystical arts of video editing and talk about a special plugin that a friend of mine has created that's gonna save you a ton of time. That's right. It's the picture-in-picture -picture effect from Dylan Bates, The Final Cut Bro. And this video is sponsored by Dylan Bates, The Final Cut Bro. I can't do it, I can't. <laughs> I used to do all these cheesy intros, like uh, like I'm on a PBS show or something for video editing, but it's just too hard to sustain that. But anyway, let's get into this. We are in the edit bay today talking about Final Cut Pro. So I've got a little, uh, little tutorial that I filmed here. Let's just take a look real quick with my lav mic and I'm pressing option S to isolate this audio track. So I'm in Final Cut Pro teaching everybody this stuff. This is uh, essentially what you're gonna see. And this is the finished product, right? The picture in picture is my face floating in a circle with the screen recording of my screen underneath it. Well, how do we get to this point quickly and easily? The old way that I would do this was really clunky. I'm gonna show a sped up version of that so you can see what I used to have to do to do kind of the same thing super annoying and super painful. With Dylan's plugin, it goes really quickly. So the first thing that we have to do is we need to option click all of these clips and drag them up so that they're duplicated. Who is calling me? Cody Jones. Cody, you call during my Final Cut Pro videos all the time, homie. Hey, I'm filming a tutorial and you're, uh, you're uh, in the video right now. <laughs> Cody says hello and implores you to like and subscribe. So I'm gonna hang up on you so I can finish this tutorial because I'm filming in 4K right now and this is gonna take up a lot of data. Okay, where were we? So we just duplicated all these clips and then I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna switch them to my screen recording angle over here in the inspector. Now I wanna add the picture in picture effect to this first clip and I'm gonna grab that over here in the effects browser. I'm gonna go down to Dylan's section, Final Cut Bros Picture in Picture, and I'm gonna drag Picture in Picture 2.0. You can already see Final Cut gives us a preview of what it's gonna look like. Let's go ahead and drag that over, or you can double click it to add it to your video. Now, with this, you've got a lot of controls in the inspector. Dylan has options to animate this in. He has options for the shape settings, like if you want a rectangle or a circle. And then of course, there's different settings for this picture-in-picture -picture scale, video scale. Let's go ahead and drop the picture-in-picture -picture down, pretty small, so we can tuck this up into the corner. Let's get this nudged up in there. And then I'm gonna drop the width so that it's a little bit thinner. And then that gives me room to bump this up into the corner even more. I'm gonna change the color to my branding color, that kind of rich mustardy yellow color. And we're pretty good right here. Let's go down to drop shadow and let's make some adjustments here. I'm gonna drop the opacity, increase the blur, and I'm gonna make the distance a little bit more. Now we can't really see it here very well. Normally I color in this, bla this black background with kind of a grayish background to match Final Cut so the drop shadow shows up more a little bit later. I'm not gonna do that step right now. Then the other thing that I wanna adjust, I don't like how small I am inside the picture in picture window. So I wanna increase my scale so that I'm a giant floating head. But you can see it's off a little bit. Well, we can use these adjusters to move it up and down and get it positioned the way that we want it. So my giant skull is hovering over the edit for you all to uh, watch me and learn from me. So there's just a number of settings here. Dylan has done some incredible updates to this plugin over the last year to two years. I've been using it for maybe a year and a half or so, and the controls are really awesome. You can go outside, you can go centered with your border, you can put it inside. I usually leave it on the outside. You can fade the edges, which is really nice on the inside. You can fade the outside edges if you wanna have it a little bit more feathered. You can also add a second border, and you can see it looks a little funky like this, but there's some adjustments that you can make. First of all, we're gonna adjust the color. You can see it's showing cyan right now, but I wanna uncheck this link colors box, and then click on this, and then we're gonna go with this kind of pinkish color here just so that you can see it very easily. We're gonna drop the width down a little bit, and then we're gonna bring the offset in. And then I am going to fade the outside of this a little bit just to make it subtle like a kind of like a more like a halo effect uh, with this ring. And then I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit just so that we can see all the edges, of course. And there we have my floating head. Now, of course, I don't normally have the second border, but you can see that we're pretty close to what I have in this tutorial. This one's a little bit smaller, um, but that's okay. We can increase the picture in picture scale a little bit get that dialed in. I think maybe that's really where it's gonna be at. And I'm gonna make my head just a little bit smaller. 
and then move this up just to get it right where I want it. So we are really good there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this onto the other clips and then hit paste. And now you can see we've got that added. So that's great. Now real quick, I wanna show you the animation of this because I think it really looks great when it's animated in. So let's go ahead and select this one and we're gonna animate it in and then I'll play this back so you can see the beautiful animation that Dylan's done on this. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the volume on all these first so we don't play all that stuff back. So we'll just select the audio tab in the inspector, drop the volume, and then let's play this back so we can see the animation. And I've got a photography video that I've been working on, more of a personal passion project. And if you look at my timeline, you can see I've look got music that. layered. And if you look at my timeline, you can see I've got music uh, layered in. Just a really beautiful animation. I don't use this enough in my videos, but now that he's got version 2.2 out, I'm definitely gonna try to use it uh, a lot more in my videos because I think it's really nice how it transitions from that full screen into this um, this uh, picture in picture look for this. Now, here is another amazing tip that's gonna save you a bunch of time. You might be watching this going, yeah, but I don't wanna have to dial in this custom settings for picture in picture every single time I make a video. I wanna be able to have it look like this right away, not the default settings. Well, Final Cut has an awesome feature in the inspector panel where it says save effects preset. So all of these customizations that I've done, I'm gonna turn animation off so it's not default. All of these customizations that I've done, I can save an effects preset. So I'm going to call this picture in picture ready. And we've got it here in FCB's picture in picture uh, category. I'm going to turn off compositing just to make sure there's nothing funky in there at all. Uh, and you can see here that the attributes of the picture in picture effects are what's going to be saved. So then we'll hit save. And you can see here it put it picture in picture ready. So if we take this and we remove the picture in picture effect and go back to the default setting, we've got me with full screen here, right? Well, now with this updated effects preset, I can drag and drop this over and it immediately goes to this. Instead of if you don't create an effects preset, every time you do it, it's just gonna go to the default setting, which is this larger one in the center with a color that I don't want. So that's where save effects preset is a just a hidden gem in Final Cut Pro, and I highly recommend you thinking about what other effects that you are constantly putting in the settings and all that stuff over and over, you save effects preset to save you even more time. So if you combine Dylan's excellent picture in picture plugin with the save effects preset feature in Final Cut Pro, you can get your picture in picture videos up and running incredibly quickly in Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro was already fast. This makes it even faster. And we have Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro, to thank for it. So if you go over to Dylan's online store, you can see Dylan's got a lot of effects over here. He's got free adjustment layers, this awesome clone stamp tool, Pro Shapes, Motion Tools, the Pro Zooms plugin is awesome, and Picture in Picture. I have a promo code, uh, Midland, that's gonna save you 10% off your purchase, whether you buy one effect or multiples. But you can see here the picture in picture uh, effect is $24.99 USD. So definitely grab that if you haven't already. Dylan also has a Patreon that I'll link in the description. So if you wanna get access to some of these effects through different tiers of Patreon membership, you can of course go that route as well. If you don't know about Dylan Bass channel, the Final Cut Bro, I'm gonna link that down in the description as well. I highly recommend subscribing. He posts Final Cut Pro and motion videos, one video about each per week. And just on a personal note, Dylan has really become a good friend of mine and the channel. He's part of my Discord server. He shows up in my live streams. And I had the good fortune of meeting Dylan in person for the first time in Las Vegas at NEB this year. And we got to spend a few days together with some other friends and it was a great time. Dylan is just such a solid dude who is always thinking about his viewers, his subscribers, and his customers. And I highly recommend getting in on all things Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro, especially his YouTube channel. I mean, look at this, look what he's thought of. Down here, look, he has a little option for how to get support. Just email him, dylan at thefinalcutbro.com. I mean, how many uh, plugin makers put a link to their support in the inspector for their effect? I mean, he's thought literally of everything. So if you have any questions or comments or need to know anything about this effect or the other effects that Dylan has made, definitely drop a comment down below or reach out to me directly through Twitter or Instagram. Links to all that down in the description. That's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for hanging out in the edit bay with me. It was great fun. And and uh, I can't wait for the next one. So until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.